and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've come to Port Isaac. Our walk today comes from Classic Walks Cornwall 2, 60 circular routes. It's walk number 37, Port Isaac and Port Gavin. Port Isaac is on the north coast of Cornwall between Boss Castle and Padstow. Leave the car park following the coastline with a sea to your right on a wide track towards Port Isaac Village. Be careful if you come to do this walk in Port Isaac because there are two car parks. This car park is a little bit closer into the village. Don't make the mistake of parking in the first car park that you come to. Follow coast path directions that guide you to a tarmac lane down into the village. I do like taking note of the wildflowers that are out on our walks. Today we're surrounded by valerian and mallows. Don't they look stunning in the sunshine? Beautiful colours. So some of those cottages over there were used in the Dot Martin series. The lower one is um, Bert's Cafe. And then you have got the one that's got the red brick windows. That's Dot Martin Surgery. Have a little boat coming in. Padstow 104. Is that what the PW is, is it? It's ain't good on it, there's seagulls around it. Bringing in the catch, crabs and lobsters in those black lobster pots. So they're bringing them in and then they're loading them up onto the back of the tractor. Can't get fresher than that. Shows it's still a working little harbour, doesn't it? Yeah, did you see those crabs? I know, they've got amazing. lobsters in two parts and crabs in another. Absolutely amazing. I'll be on somebody's dinner plate tonight. Yeah, yummy. Today's catch. Very fresh. Pass around the harbour and the old lifeboat station following the road uphill out of the village, Churchill. Pass the telephone box to find a public footpath sign to Trewetha. Beautiful dog roses, wild roses in the hedge. Take the narrow valley footpath, passing through a metal gate and alongside a water treatment works. Instead of actually being able to see much of the treatment works, you can definitely hear it. And you, um, you might also be able to smell the water treatment works. Wow, it's whiffy. God, it smells like shit. I said it smells a bit whiffy. Yeah, that's better. Fox gloves looking beautiful. And these are teasels, so architectural and lovely for the birds. Pass through a wooden gate and continue ahead following a tarmac lane to the right of the farm. Look for a gate way marked on the left just a short distance from the farm and follow a valley path again. At a junction of paths with a large waymark post, continue ahead. Sign Trzungas. How do you think you pronounce that? What, Trzungas? Do you think it is? Yeah. We're not local to this area, so I don't know. What does it say? Trzungas. Trzungas. <laughs> Get on. Go this way anyway. Up long. Yeah. Not down long. Pass over a stone stile and walk through a small area of trees to reach a path fork. Bear right, gaining a little height before passing through a gate into a small area of woodland. Emerge into open valley once more. Look at this over here. Someone's laid a great big pile of logs. One you, is it? Where the valley path begins to bear off to the right, look for a small footbridge and stile on the left. 
cute little star. Hello. What you do, you put your leg up here and you jump over and it'll be fine. I can do it. Immediately after the star, bear right and walk ahead. Pass over a star and continue in the same direction, climbing gradually out of the valley. So we're now walking up through the valley. Beautiful valley, it's a lovely day today, we're really lucky. Birds are singing, it's like real Cornish countryside. Pass through a hedge gap and walk on a slightly left bearing towards a gate. Well, I think you're supposed to open the gate. It's all far higher. Oh, okay. Oh, you sweeter. I know, I think we need some help. I will we? fly over, Mummy. I think it's feeding time. Oh, There's loads of them, isn't there? Aww, oh, aren't they gorgeous? Hello. Ooh. Well, I don't think it's very funny because I've just trodden in something that the cows did. <laughs> Not nice. <laughs> they don't tell you that in the walk directions. Bear right in front of the farm. Have you seen this on the floor? Look, looks like a mullion from a window. Oh gosh, doesn't it? Doesn't it? There's an O, two, little cross, a W, a cross, and an M. It's really old, isn't it? This is the lane. Which is Angus. Yeah. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look yeah, at that. Wow, isn't, wow, isn't that gorgeous? Oh. The date over the over the doorway there. No. 1660 it says. Where the driveway bears off to the right, proceed through a large gate ahead and turn immediately left. They're staring at you. <laughs> no. Wow, that farm, you can almost touch the history on it. It's so old. Walk up the side of the field and over a stone stile. <laughs> we've just seen the stile we've got to climb over now. So this was an easy great walk. <laughs> it's great and easy. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh goodness me! Way, way to go, boy! Wow! I wouldn't say that's easy. No. Easy would kind of imply that our parents could do it, and I don't think either of our mums could get over no, that. No, I agree with you. you was a tired boy. No. Where's the other one? Oh, you're tired too. Oh. Walk ahead and over a second style. It's, they're oh. just so tall, aren't they? <gasps> I've done it. <sighs> Yay! And a gate as hey. well. You are rewarded when you get to the top of this hill, though. You've got a lovely view of crossing. That's where we started off down in Port Isaac. Just down there. And in the distance, you can see Tintagel. It's the headland over there. Tintagel Castle, just make it out with the naked eye. Yeah. Really enjoying our walk today. It's a little bit different to what we usually do. Usually we have a circular walk along the coast, but this is really genuine Cornish countryside. Lots and lots of fields and animals, tranquil valleys, streams, lovely. Proceeding over the next field on a half right bearing to pass through a gate next to a telegraph pole. Love this, look. It's an old granite roller for rolling your fields or your cricket green. Now used as a gatepost. Wonderful. I think we'll be crossing about five fields in total. Four and a half fields. Four and a half fields. <laughs> Let's hope there's no more monster styles. Pass through a final gate to reach the B3267 road. So we go that way. Cross the road and turn left to walk past a large touch house. Continue on to find a public footpath sign and style in the hedge on the right. Walk down the left hand side of the field and past a style and gate on the left. Continue downhill to reach a waymark post indicating a right bearing path. That's some nice duck house. No. Your house is nicer than mine. You just poke me with your beak. <laughs> Quack. Did a lovely job with this path, haven't they? It's fantastic. It's kept beautiful. Beautiful, it's isn't it? I know. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Daisies. Walk on across the field gradually descending, bearing left to the corner of the field, quite thickly overgrown with blackberry bushes etc. Get drinky soon baby, yeah there's a stream down there, let's go find it. Come on. Those pretty little dog roses in the hedge. Follow a path left just above the stream. Oh, it's a nice boys, yes is that nice? Okay, so we're faced with a lot of mud, quite thick mud. 
on a broad path. So Andrew's gone for a bit of a recce that way. It's just been a lot of cursing and swearing. I think he might have just fallen over. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh really. Did you fall over? Yep. Are you muddy? Yep. Not happy. <laughs> so, what's your verdict? Not out of ten. No pubs. <laughs> Go up to the left there, look. Well defined path going through the field. I think we'll just stick to this one. It's a lot less muddy. I think this is probably the way we should have come in the first place. Yeah. It's more reasonable, isn't it? Very easy. Well, don't speak too soon. Got my leg over that one. Well done, congratulations. On reaching houses, pass over a stile and walk ahead to reach main road. <laughs> like it. We do pick up our dog poo, but we take the earliest opportunity to put it in the bin and we don't think it's particularly nice to film somebody carrying it, so that's why you don't see it in shots so much. If these were the old cellars where they used to store the pilchers when they brought them in. Yeah, Port Gavin fish sellers. So we just had a chat with one of the guys cutting the grass there. Yeah, they are the fish sellers. It used to be one open barn where they used to salt and gut all the fish for the winter. So this is Port Gavin Beach. Very nice, very pretty. Tide's gone right out there. Definitely a rock pool beach. I think we should try this for crabbing sometime. Good boys. You found a friend? Is it a boy? Port Gavin Pub. Oh yes please. Thanks. Turn left and walk uphill following the road back up to the start point car park. So our walk today took us from Port Isaac to Port Gavin, mainly through fields. Uh, the instructions were good. We did have to refer to the map a couple of times. I didn't feel that was so strong, did you? No, I don't think you could rely on the map on its own. Um, the instructions in the book are better than the map. Yeah, very detailed, every style, every field even. You know, you could almost reduce that down to cross three fields, couldn't you? Yeah. Port Isaac and Port Gavin. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely really stunning places. Yeah, you must visit them. And the only thing I would say is they do rate it as an easy walk. Some of the styles are quite... Tall. Yeah, fair comment. Those styles were massive. Yeah. They're made for giants, yeah, weren't absolutely. they, really? Yeah, I think that's fair. So I'd maybe question their rating from an easy to a moderate. Yeah. So scoring. I'd give it a 8 out of 10. 8, yeah, because it was good instructions. Map let it down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>